Well, in terms of favorite songs with the Beatles, no question he told me, and I have it on tape, you know, for verification, uh, Strawberry Fields, In My Life, I Am the Walrus, um, and Revolution. Those were really meaningful work as, Beatle, as a Beatle composition. Uh, in terms of post Beatle material, I think he liked it all. I think he was really proud of the work. I think he was really proud of his collaborations with Yoko. I think that they were more reflective of who he was as an individual. And now he didn't also need the kind of rubber stamp of three uh, associates to make certain that it would work and be saleable. With the Beatles, there were commercial considerations, you know, with you know, millions of records. With Yoko, um, it wasn't necessary for anything to uh, sell a million copies or become a triple platinum album. Uh, none of them did, except for the last. He was very, very proud of the songs in Double Fantasy. All those songs came to him in a matter of weeks, I think three weeks, and there were more songs left over for a follow-up album called Milk and Honey. And that album was a signature album for uh, evolving couples at that particular time. He thought of that as a dialogue between a man and a woman. Um, that one is timeless. I mean, it really is timeless. If people just put that record on, if you just come from planet Jupiter and want to get an idea of where John was in 1980, the sum total of the 40 years that he spent with us, I think he sums it up pretty good on that one and resolves also a lot of the anger and frustration of some of the thoughts that were expressed in earlier albums too. But favorites? No, I think he was proud of all the work that he did past the Beatles. He, oh, I do recall once when I interviewed him, I said, was there ever a Beatles tune that you penned that you were absolutely ashamed of, that you, you wish you could call back and erase the master tape. And he said, yes, there's one that comes to mind that I just, I, I just wish it would vanish from planet Earth. And I paused for a moment or two, nothing was forthcoming, and I said, and that song is, and he said, ask me in 20 years and I'll tell you. No, I won't guess. <laughs>